In this tutorial, we'll look at a few examples of the size, position, and rotation effects, and I'll give you a few bonus tips. You should already have watched parts 1 and 2 of the View and Animation Effects, Size, Position, and Rotation. Here is a very simple example of a common use of the size, position, rotation effect. I'll leave the preview monitor at 75%. I'll move the image out of the way and import another one. This one does not have an aspect ratio of 16 to 9. Under image properties, it's 5184 by 3456 with a 3 to 2 aspect ratio. It fills the screen from top to bottom, but not side to side. I want the image to completely fill the screen. I'll select it and apply the effect. Under size, the width is 1620 and the height is 1080. To get full width, I'll change the box to 1920. Bingo! We have full width. I'll undo that and change from pixels to percent. The width shows as 84.4%. The height is 100%. I'll change the width to 100%, enter, and we have full width. The height has changed to 118.5%. Back to pixels. I've cut off some of the top and bottom as we see that the bounding box goes above and below the preview window. The height has changed to 1280, which is more than the 1080 height of the screen. I can leave it like that, or adjust the image up or down by changing the vertical value with the mouse. Just make sure to not move it too much. If you want the top of the image to be at the top or bottom of the screen, use the position buttons. You can also drag the image up and down using the mouse to see where you want to position the image. This will likely impact the horizontal location and you can quickly reset it to zero by clicking on the horizontal reset button or by using the left or right position buttons. Of course, you can always zoom in on the image by dragging the handles outward or changing the values in the boxes. Now, there are a couple of other ways to get the non 169 image full screen. Under Project Settings, Movie Settings tab, you can check the box beside Automatically Adjust New Images to Fill Screen. Borders are faded out. A second way is to right-click on the object and select Crop to Fit Screen. This does the same thing as checking the box under Project Settings, but only for the images that you want. The program actually applies the section effect to the image, cropping off the top and bottom. I'll cover the section effect in another tutorial. Let's look at an example with several images. I'll first reset the preview monitor to 100%. I've got a background image on track 1. I'll bring in four images and put them on tracks 2 through 5, one below the other. We see the one on track 5. Select it, apply size position rotation effect, and I'll give it 40% and put it at the bottom right. Select the object on track 4 and do the same, 40%, but put it at the bottom left. Select the object on track 3 and do the same, 40%, but put it at the top right. Finally, select the object on track 2 and do the same, but put it at the top left. Great! Now we have four images on top of the background. There's actually a faster way to do this by first setting the image on track 5 to 40%, then right click. Video Effects, Copy Video Effects. Select the other three objects, right click, Video Effects, Paste Video Effects. Of course, learning the shortcuts will speed this up enormously. All images are now 40%. You can simply use the corner buttons to move the images to the corners. You can create a four image video wall by doing this at 50%, or increase the number of images and thus videos by calculating the size and position for each. For a 9 image video wall, just make all images 640 pixels wide and use the 9 position buttons to place them accordingly. All we need to do now is animate that using keyframes, but that will be the subject for another tutorial. For another effect, I'll put the same four images back to 40%, still stacked one on top of the other. 
for the object on track 5, I'll move the anchor point to the bottom left and give it a bit of clockwise rotation. I'll do the same with the objects on track 4, and the same with the objects on tracks 3 and 2, but counterclockwise. Of course, you could move the images around as you wish. Now that you know how to use these effects manually, there are some templates under Templates, Design Elements, Picture in Picture. Looking at the icons will give you a good idea as to what they do. I've reset the images. I'll select the image on track 5 and apply the 4 slash 1 bottom right. The image on track 4 to the bottom left. The image on track 3 to the upper right and the image on track 2 to the upper left. Of course these are templates and the size and location may not be what you want, but now you know how to modify these using size position rotation effects. If you've ever tried adding in some of the image objects under templates, you may have been wondering how to use them as they come in full screen. You first have to select an object on the timeline that you want to connect the image to. Under Deco, I'll select the balloons and import it. It's linked to my image and it's full size. Select it, go to the size position rotation effect, apply effect, and now you can use the tools to change the size, position, and rotation. The balloons image is grouped with my photo, but I don't want it on the screen for the full duration. Simply ungroup them and you can now move and trim the deco object independently. Text. Yes, you can use size, position, rotation effects on text. I've created some text, made it red, and left it at the default size, so not very large. You can already move the text box around and resize it, but you can't rotate it. Go to size, position, rotation effect, and it's already applied. Now we can see the handles and make the text box, and thus the text, larger or smaller by dragging the handles. Move the box around, even off screen, and rotate the text. Now you should have a better understanding of just a few of the many uses of the size position rotation effects and I suggest that you practice using them. Watch for my tutorial on keyframing. If it's not out yet and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, click on subscribe. Thanks for watching. Till next time, make movies.